Good afternoon, Pastor Mike, Ascension Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. I pray that your Lenten walk has been bearing fruit spiritually as we consider how great the Father's love for us, that He would sacrifice His only Son for sinners. How humbling it is to ponder such a love. Today, I want us to consider the difference between the phrase, to glorify God, and the phrase, to the glory of God. I think sometimes we don't recognize the difference between them and use them interchangeably. I would assert that there is a difference, and it is an important difference. One comes from a theology of glory, and the other comes from the theology of the cross. When you hear someone say, let's glorify God, what are you being asked to do? It's usually a response, some action, some work, like, you know, clap your hands to the glory of God, or can we glorify God with an amen, or join us in singing as we glorify God. But do you and I have any intrinsic glory that we can add to God's? Do I have glory of my own with which I could glorify God? If I were famous, like if I would win an Olympic medal, which I guarantee you will never happen, people may ascribe some glory to that accomplishment. I may be granted a modicum of glory if I did something extraordinary, like rescue someone from an accident or dangerous situation. But that is all earthly glory derived from earthly works. Does God desire or need earthly glory? Do human works, either good or bad, glorify God, add to His glory? God is the creator of all things. All things are already His. God is spirit and has no need of earthly things. God is holy, perfect, truthful and righteous in Himself. Nothing we do, even praising God or thanking God, no work we do adds glory to God. He has no need for works. So if God has no need for earthly things, what kind of glory do I seek to give Him? All the good works we do cannot glorify God unless accompanied by one thing, faith. I can do all the good works I'm obligated to do. I can obey all the laws contained in Scripture, but without faith, they are all bad. Unless you and I first ascribe to God truthfulness and all goodness, which can only be done through faith, even praise and thanksgiving is bad. A human cannot ascribe to God truthfulness and all goodness without faith. Inanimate works cannot glorify God. But if faith is present, things can be done to the glory of God. To the glory of God has a different focus. This phrase has a different starting point. This phrase is not about us adding glory to God of, from anything we do. It is a reference to the works believers do which reflect the glory of God. In other words, we are not the source of the glory. We are reflectors of God's glory. And only believers can do works to the glory of God because only the redeemed have received God's glory through the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, God's glory is most seen in the salvation of people of you, of me. The glory of God is most visible in our redemption from eternal death to eternal life for Jesus' sake. The life of a Christian in doing the works of obedience and love according to the Father's will are works done to the glory of God. It is the Father's will that we do good works, and the goodness of those works reflects God's glory, not our glory, since only works done in faith are good. Thus they are to the glory of God. As St. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4.15, For it is all for your sake, 
so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. I guess you could call it one of my pet peeves. I have several, like people calling the Old Testament prophets Zechariah rather than Zechariah, Z-E-C-H, not Z-A-C-H. Z-E-C-H-A-R, Zechar in Hebrew means to remember, so Zechariah means Yahweh remembers. Zechariah is a nonsense word, but I digress. One of my pet peeves that makes my skin crawl is when I hear things like, let's glorify God with the intent that people should clap their hands or shout or say amen or something like that. I understand the intent of the person and I don't want to assign malice to his intent. But since we live in a mechanistic world where everything is cause and effect, since our whole life is do this to get that, Many people unwittingly see these actions as something they do for God with the unspoken, often unrealized thought that they are pleasing God through these actions. And perhaps then God will take it easy on them or bless them somehow, you know, pay them back for praising Him. It's not wrong to do those things. Let me get that straight. It's not wrong to do those things when done in faith. Indeed, God deserves all honor, glory, power, and might. But in our this-for-that world where people's lives are steeped in a mechanistic worldview, why even go there? Why open the door to a subtle works righteousness? Why allow any opening for human ego, you know, that sinful ego that wants to scoot God off his throne so we can sit there? Let it be simply praise and thanks done in faith. I praise and thank God because he deserves praise and thanks for his grace. He has shown me a sinner though I am. I rebel against anyone or anything that would even subtly pull our eyes away from the cross to look at what we are doing. I am a theologian of the cross, not a theologian of glory. Thank you for listening today, and I pray that your eyes are always on the cross, that your whole life would be one lived to the glory of God. For in the cross of Christ, I glory. Blessings on your day.